and this is in relationship to what has been going on in the, in the social media. I thought uh, I'd given enough time for it to run, and now I want to give my response. So I would like to say greetings to uh, the, the citizens of this great nation. I begin by extending my great appreciation to His Excellency the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, Comrade Dr. Edi Mnangagwa, for entrusting me with uh, the huge responsibility to deputize him under the new dispensation. Fellow Zimbabweans, Following the recent uh, social media hype about my alleged illicit relationship with women, I have decided to come open and respond to the allegations being peddled by my detractors. Despite growing impatient, impatient because of uh, the days of weighed uh, character assassination by these people, I wish to categorically state that the allegations being leveled at them are not only false, but well choreographed to demean, condescend, and so in my image as a national leader and a part of this country. I joined active politics in 1971, not before most of you were, were born. Up to date, I'm aware where I am, and nothing of this sort of ever happened. I'm aware that my, my right to privacy has been trashed uh, in terms of section 57, sub, <coughs> sub section D of the Constitution of Zimbabwe, amendment number 20 of 2013, which reads as follows, and I'm going to quote, every person has the right to privacy, which includes the right not to have the privacy of their communications infringed with, unquote. Despite the, the noisy and digital media ecologies, I wish to clearly state that I'm innocent and a victim of political machinations, being peddled through hacking and, and voice cloning. Fellow Zimbabweans, despite the density of the allegations being levelled against me, I salute the support from fellow uh, citizens, colleagues, comrades, who fully grasp the, uh, the rigid complexities of concocted and in attacks. It is against uh, this background, a back, a backdrop, that I am categorically distancing myself from the imagined immoral unions of behavior. The camaraderie or and support given to me during the trial tri hours is greatly appreciated. These faceless uh, net citizens have blended well networked digital architecture to engineer the spaces for political uh, demonization. And this will not dampen my spirit as, <coughs> as, as a tried and tested cadre. I remain committed, I remain a committed leader, father, cadre, and servant of this great nation. So nothing is going to move me. Because all this is concocted. To tarnish my image. If anything is going to happen, it is going to be his excellence that is going to determine my future. But I thought I should give you this this space. <clears throat>